What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings addict, bringing my top picks for Saturday's main NBA DFS slate. Oh, man, tonight was a high-powered night. If you didn't hit 300, you probably didn't cash. All right, I had a lineup hit 296, as you can see on the screen, and it barely cashed. I mean, it just made over the double-up line. All righty, guys, a lot of landmines today, man. A couple people getting ejected. Uh, the OKC and uh, Phoenix game was bananas. You know, they had 100 points at the end of the third quarter. Man, it was crazy. And, uh, man, I needed more of that game, man. So just something to uh, think about in the future, man. These high over and under games, man. High over and under means high uh, points being scored, which means lots of fantasy gold. So, all right, guys. So let's get into today's slate, man. So, again, here go my results for yesterday. Um, I played a couple of double-ups and then a triple-up. I really didn't pay much. I think I bet four bucks and won two. So I lost two bucks. So, hey, it is what it is, guys. So, again, I had Carl Anthony Towns in one of my lineups. And, you know, he got ejected. He had two technical fouls. Um, you see here, Schroeder did really well for me. Marcus Gasol did okay. Jamel, Jamel Martin did it all right. Beasley, psh, don't know what happened to him, man. He went into the locker room, came back out, didn't really do nothing. Trey Burke sucked, but he was chalking, man. That dude was like 40% owned. So, uh, you know, I wasn't only one on him, but, yeah, he didn't he didn't perform. Chalmers did all right. Well, he did great for his price point. So, um, like I said, Cole at the Towns got ejected, and I didn't have any uh, Westbrook in this lineup. I didn't have any Elf. I didn't have any Booker. All right, and each one of them put up like 50-plus. And I think uh, Booker had 60-something, and Westbrook went for 70. So, hey, man, on to tomorrow, guys. So, all right, tomorrow's slate, guys. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games on the slate. All right, guys, so right now the highest over and under that's out at this moment is uh, the Cleveland game. Followed up by the Houston and then the Portland game, guys. So I'm going to try to make sure all my picks are in those games because, again, high over and under games usually means um, high production, man. So all right, let's go off the first one. Let's go ahead and start off at the top. You know how I do. All right, so we're going to go with Dame Leonard, man. This guy been hot. Big game, Dame. All right, so if you look at his game log, man, he's been 60, 50, 53 over the last couple of games. This is versus Phoenix, Sacramento, and Minnesota. So now he gets a matchup against OKC on a back-to-back. And if you see the last time they played, he put uh, he played 37 minutes, was 10 for 18 shooting, one three-pointer, 13 dimes, and 36 points for 65 draft Kings points. All right, guys, this is the stud I want to pay up for. All right, I like Harden too. But, you know, Harden has Chris Paul, takes away some of his usage. But it's going to be a lot of points scored in that game, in the Houston game as well, Houston and Boston. But uh, lock in Dame Leonard, man. I like Dame Leonard at home versus Westbrook on the back-to-back. All right, next up, guys, I'm going with this guy here. He's back from injury. He played pretty well tonight, uh, and that's Paul Millsap. He's only 5K, and uh, at 5K versus uh, Cleveland, again, another game is going to be high scoring, 228 um, total over and under for the day. So that's a lot of points. So, um, again, Millsap been playing well. He's playing versus Cleveland. Let's lock him in, guys. At 5.2K, this guy is just too cheap. I'm not sure how long he's going to be that cheap. He'll be $7,500 before you know it. All right. Next up, another guy I like in a favorable matchup, Evan Fournier. Now, he is playing against Memphis, a team with a lot of injuries. Marcus Gasol is already ruled out. All right, that week against the shooting guard. I like Evan Fournier. Thirty-seven minutes played last game, put up forty DK points. Again, I like him in this matchup. Now something may change if uh, we hear some news and uh, there's a better player out there. But like I say, point for dollar. I like I like this guy here, man. He's five point nine K. And I like to see him put up 34, 35 DK points, all right, which is possible against Memphis in a favorable matchup in a team that's beat up and, you know, have a lot of players that's out. All right, Evan Fournier. 
Next up on my list, guys, it's going to be, I'm going back to the well on this guy here, man. He had a monster night tonight, and that's Rudy Gobert. Man, what did Rudy end up with, man? I think he ended up with like 55 DK points, if I remember correctly. Let me check it out real quick. But anyway, Gobert had a monster night tonight, guys, and he has another favorable matchup tomorrow. Yes, it's a back-to-back. I understand, but he's playing against... Sacramento, which is a favorable matchup for centers. And Rudy Gobert is 7.4K. All right. So, against Minnesota, Cat got ejected. So, of course, Rudy Gobert had a night. Well, we got Sacramento tomorrow, man. Who was he playing against? Uh, Wiley Collistein is uh, questionable. Uh, They don't really have a lot of big men down low. Sacramento, which means that Gobert should be able to easily put up double digit rebounds, couple of putbacks, equals a double double, which equals a, a nice easy 30, 35 point floor. And um, I, I see I see Gobert getting 40 plus again. Uh, he had 58.5 tonight, 26 points, 16 rebounds, and four block shots against the Timberwolves tonight. I like Gobert versus Sacramento. Lock him in. And that team is pretty scrappy, man. Nobody blows them out, man. You know, they they like to hang around. And I like Gobert to, to, to put in some work. All right, guys. Next up. I like Goran Dragic, man. At home versus Detroit. This team is fighting for a place in the playoffs. And if you look at Dragic last couple of games, he played 30-plus minutes putting up 36, 35 DK points, which is a nice, good floor. And uh, he has some upside against Detroit. Detroit, we just saw them play against, uh, I believe they played Orlando tonight. And um, they let uh, Orlando's point guard uh, put up like 35 DK points on them, man. Yeah, DJ Augustine put up 40 DK points versus this team. He had 20 points, five rebounds, and nine assists. You telling me Drogic can't do better than that? Come on, guys. All right, so last three times. Oh, he's averaging 46 DA points versus this team after three games played. Sounds like an easy lock and load at 7.5K at home. Going tragic. So, bam, there you go, guys. You got my top five plays. As you can see on the screen, uh, it leaves you about $4,800 for each position. Um, Got some value that's opening up. Again, I told you that um, Mark Gasol has been ruled out, as you can see right here. Mark Gasol. Officially ruled out for Saturday's game. All right. So, let me go ahead and tell you what we're going to do. So, as of right now, I like this guy here uh, to step up in Mark Gasol's absence. He's 3.3K. Should get a good amount of minutes. And uh, as you can see, when a young man gets minutes, he puts up, you know, some rebounds and some points. And so, he should be good at 3.3K. So, if this guy is starting... I would lock him in for value, guys. Again, Memphis is going to be a value gold mine because, again, they don't really have anybody. <laughs> All right, a guy that played in um, Detroit. Again, Ish Smith been playing like crap, and this young guy here has been taking advantage of it. As you can see, the last couple of games, he played about 18 to 24 minutes, but when he come in, he's taking, he's taking shots. Look at this, guys. Three for 12, three for 11, 12 points, 12 points, a couple of assists, a couple of rebounds every now and then, and he's playing some defense. Again, scrappy player. 3.5K, he's getting about 20 minutes versus Miami. You know, last time he, this team played 17 points. I mean, 17 minutes, and he put up 22 DK points. So if this guy going to get any kind of run, if you need some value, I think he'd be a nice value point. All right. Another value player I like, guys. Uh, not really a value player, but he's got, you know, he played started last game. I expect him to start again this game, and that's going to be uh, my man here. It's going to be uh, Rodney Hood. All right. Playing against Denver again. The highest over and under on the slate so far. 228 points. And uh, he played 25 minutes in the last three times he played against his team. I believe that was with Utah, though. All right. So if you look at his game log versus uh, with uh, Cleveland, you know, he's playing 39, 31 minutes. But he's, uh, you know, he's taking a lot of shots, but he hasn't been hitting his shots, man. But. At 4.6K, we just need him to put up 20 DK points. And, again, he's playing against Denver in a, a fast-paced game, a team that gives up a lot of shots and points to the shooting guard. If Rodney Hood is starting over um, J.R. Smith, 
I, I like him as a value play, guys. All right. But it's a large slate, seven seven games, so we should be able to find somebody. All right. Another player I like, guys, that's uh that's in the bottom of the of the bin when it comes to his uh salary is gonna be his guy here, Trevor Reza. He plays a lot of minutes, so he means he has a lot of opportunity for points. Uh he's playing in the second highest game uh over and under so far with two sixteen for Houston and uh Boston. And uh if you look at this, he's playing again thirty plus minutes. He's pretty much guaranteed to get those minutes. He's gonna get a couple of shots. Uh, a couple of points, a couple of rebounds, a steal every inning because he's a defensive guy. Uh, if you look at the history, he played one game versus them. Um, he played. He should put up three shots, hit three three pointers, and uh, had twenty two DK points, which is not bad for a guy that's four point five K. You want somewhere around five X and uh, up. So again, with Ariza, you know he can get you anywhere between uh, fifteen and thirty five. You know if he if he's hot hitting his uh, shot from the outside. All right, guys. So, but again, that's my top five plays, man. To be honest, I like LeBron James. All right, versus uh, Denver again, high over and under game. So, I like LeBron James. So, I might uh, find a way to get him in if I can uh, find some more value. Some more value open up tomorrow again. It's Saturday. A lot of players got hurt today or was injured or have ailing uh, injuries. You never know what might happen. So, I like LeBron James at the top. And of course, like I told you, I like James Harden versus. This Boston team, man. Again, anything's possible, man. My man, James Harden, in the last game, he put up like 30 some points in the first half, and then he kind of cooled off in the second half. But uh, he wasn't hitting his three ball. Look at that, three for 10, guys. So I'm just saying, Houston at home versus Boston. I like Harden, too, um, if I can get there tomorrow. All right. So also at the top, you got Westbrook going up against Portland, but he's playing on the back of back. He's definitely going to put up another 70 DK points. So. I wouldn't roll with that. All right, guys, you got Drummond versus Miami versus Whiteside. Who gives it up? 50 Burger. Another player that you can play up for if you don't like Dame Lizard. You know? All right. So, oh, Chris Paul going against Boston. Kyrie can't play defense. Locked and loaded. Take your point. Pick your point. You, you want 7.9K Chris Paul or do you want 10.7K uh, James Harden? Or you want 9.4K Lillard. All right, guys. So, all right, man. So, that's some of my top players, guys. Like the video. If you enjoy the content, subscribe, share it. Help me out. I'm trying to get up there to that 500 uh, subscribers. And uh, follow me on Twitter for any updates, um, any pivots or anything like that. You know, I I tweeted out on on Twitter. And uh, good luck tomorrow on Saturday, guys. All right. Stay close to the news, too. Peace.